I'm Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today's video is going to be all about the things that I made during March this year. I know I say this pretty much every month but I literally can't believe we are in April already. So well into springtime. I wish someone would tell the weather that this week. So I haven't made that many things that I can actually show you this month. I've made another couple of things which are pattern tests and they won't be released for another couple of months so I'll share them with you when the pattern's released but they are some cracking makes but the ones I have made I'll start with what I'm wearing and it is the Madeline skirt and this is by Victory Patterns so you can't see it particularly well with me sitting down but it is the kind of midi length skirt with optional races so they button on I mean, you can take them off um, as you wish uh, but I think it looks really nice with them on and I think it's such a stylish skirt so I've really torn with what fabric to make this out of in the first instance I've got this beautiful jade green cotton sateen in the shop that I was thinking of but eventually I kind of looked around but my eye was really drawn to this beautiful herringbone suiting fabric that we had in so I decided to go for that. It's really, really soft and it's got a really nice drape to it. And it's that lovely charcoal color, which I thought would be great for kind of just pairing with lots of different things. So I can keep it quite diverse in what I wear with it. So I also chose to line it. The pattern doesn't call for it to be lined, but I really do like a lined skirt. So especially in winter when you're wearing things over tights, you don't want things to stick. So I just chose to line it and I just did exactly the same as the skirt pattern pieces. Just did that again in lining fabric. And I also finished my hem, if I show you, with some bias binding. So I chose a really lovely pop of colour, this beautiful raspberry colour bias tape on the inside. So it just, you can kind of see it a little bit when you sit down, which is just a really nice little flash of colour. But yeah, really, really happy with it. I did have to make some adjustments to the pattern. So I just had to take it in a little bit on the side seams. So I did that on both the outer and on the lining. And yeah, I just kind of constructed it as per the pattern instructions. Really, really happy with it. So I'm wearing it today with one of my Agnes tops, Tilly in the Buttons Agnes tops. You know, I love these ones. And this is in our pink leopard print jersey. See, I think they make a great pair. And I'm also, I don't know if you can see it, I'm wearing my necklace by So Dainty. So Kathy, lovely Kathy, has just released these necklaces. I'll link them below so that you can go and check them out. She's done four different designs. They're really gorgeous, but they kind of just add a nice little flash of colour to your outfit. So the next thing I've made, now technically I didn't make this t-shirt this month, but I customised it this month. So I bought myself a Cricut maker and I've been obsessed with them for a while and really, really wanted one. So I finally bit the bullet and got one just because I thought it would be useful for the shop. I can kind of do some window decals and you know artwork for the walls and things like that. But also I can do some personalized clothes. So the first thing I did was make this Boss Lady t-shirt. You can see that. So I used the Happy Fabric Flock vinyl so this is an iron-on vinyl so it's just got a slight texture to it almost like velvet and yeah absolutely gorgeous so you get to choose your design and then you make it on the Cricut Maker it cuts it all out for you and then you press it on to your garment so quite easy to do really you just need to get the hang of it make sure you're getting things right way up and things uh, but yeah really really happy with that one so that led me on to making another version of that top it's the Tilly in the Buttons Frankie t-shirt from her stretch book sorry I should have mentioned that before so 
I had been wanting to make a pink and white version of it for ages. And it was really, really lovely candy pink plain jersey, which is lovely quality. And also this lovely white jersey, which is great because it's not see-through, it's got great recovery, great stretch. So I thought both of those would be great paired up in a baseball tee. So I chose them, both of them are available in the shop and again I'll link everything below. And I personalise this one for my cat. So yes I am crazy cat lady, we all know that. So I did a design on the front which says cat mama. And then on the back in true baseball tee style I put her name and how old she is. She's not actually this old for another week but yeah she's going to be 19 very soon. So I'm really really pleased with how this came out. It's a really really lovely soft t-shirt and I think perfect for kind of days off. Um, but you never know, you might see me wearing it in the shop if you come in. As I said, the other things I've been making have been pattern tests so I can't share them with you now. I know that's really annoying but as soon as I can I will share them with you. And then generally I've just been playing around with the Cricut machine so I personalised my cat's bed for her and made a few cards, so a Mother's Day card and birthday cards and things like that. So yeah, having fun with that. And we're gonna be running a workshop in the shop actually so that you can come along and try out your own designs and try out the machine for yourself. So I'll pop the details below of how you can join in with that if you're in the local area. But also I should mention as well, so this weekend my business turns one, which is so exciting. So even though I've only had the physical shop open since the end of January, the online shop has been open since April last year. So we're going to have a party in the shop on Sunday to celebrate. So I don't normally open the shop on a Sunday, but I'm making an exception this week. So really looking forward to seeing a lot of you here. We're having a social sewing day as well in the studio that day. So there'll be lots of people here making throughout the day as well. So come on down if you can. Hopefully you'll see this before Sunday. So it's the 7th of April is when we we're having the party. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the things I've made this month. They're definitely things that I think I'll get a lot of wear out of. I've already sewn a couple of things already in April, so that's great. We have a sewing club in the shop on a Thursday night and I'm really trying to use that time as my time to sew, to at least get projects cut out or that sort of thing. Because I really don't want to lose the love of sewing while having a business that's dedicated to sewing. Anyway, I will see you again in my next video. Don't forget to like the video if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon, bye bye.